Marketing should always be about an experience. You want to not just sell to people, you want them to really experience you and you want to serve them at the highest level so that you can transform their life whether they buy from you or not. At this stage, it's not really about them buying in buying from you. It's about you really serving at the highest level because as default of you serving at the highest level, people will be attracted to you and want to work with you even more. Hey there, so today we are talking about how can you launch your coaching business within the next 90 days or less. If you've been on the sideline or you have been saying, I'm gonna launch out in a few months time, I'm gonna launch out next year, I'm gonna launch out in three months time, there is no need to delay. I'm gonna give you the blueprint, the framework that my clients have been using and have been signing clients within 10 days. 30 days of me giving them this literal framework. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna be able to use it. I'm giving you 90 days as the full process, but actually the process in itself can get you clients very, very, very quickly. Now, I'm also gonna be using Jesus as our role model to do marketing and marketing well. I'm gonna be showing you how I do that with my system, which I call the CARE framework, right? And the, 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 the clue is in the name, right? Jesus cared for the masses. Now, not only that, I did actually release a video about Jesus' marketing framework, and you can watch it up here, which is very more specific to those kind of key details. But a summary of that is that Jesus actually is the best marketer that ever walked the face of this planet, and I say that that boldly because even thousands and thousands of years after his death and resurrection, everybody, most people on this planet know the name. Whether you like him, you love him, you loathe him, you know the name, right? And so I know that Jesus did a great job in showcasing the, the fruit of the gospel and the truth of the gospel to the world. And so we look at, well, how did he do that? And so we've taken some 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 lessons and some principles and some learning from, from him walking on the earth and tied it into this framework that's gonna help you to launch your coaching business in the next 90 days in a very authentic way. So are you ready? Now, if you're new to me, I'm Buki Okoa. I'm a business coach and I help kingdom women to scale to six figures in their businesses. And I do it in a way that honors God and I use biblical principles. And so we're gonna dive deep into that framework today and help you to launch. So there's no excuse anymore. Time is not on your side. God wants you to launch and he wants you to launch out now. Okay. So let's go through the steps. Are you ready? Comment ready in the comments and we're going to get ready to do this. All right. Okay. So step one, you need to know your calling. Okay. What do you mean calling? Well, you need to be clear on your calling. And I say this with really a strong conviction. And I say this, and I'll tell you why. Now, my model is called the CARE model, C-A-R-E. So I'm going to be flowing you through this as we go along. But the C stands for knowing your calling, your calling. Why is that important? Well, I believe it's very important for a number of reasons. Because number one, if you are going to live a life of abundance, the life that God has designed for you specifically, you've got to do it, doing it, doing it something that you love and you enjoy and that you were actually born to do. And so when you know you are called to something, you know that there is an anointing on that work that you're doing and there is a fulfillment in your spirit. And why is that important to build a coaching business? Well, I tell you why, because Building any business is hard work, first and foremost. It's hard work, right? So let's not, I'm not here to tell you and sell you a lie that, you know, just click your fingers five times and buy anointing oil, then then you're going to be done. No, there's work to do, right? So when you are in alignment with your calling, guess what happens? In the face of adversity or challenges, you stand. And to build a profitable business that stands and lasts for time and builds a, a legacy for your children's children, you need to be able to stand, especially in the beginning stages, okay? Because when you build a business starting from the ground up, the early stages are tough. And that's why most people don't really build good businesses, successful businesses, because they give up too early, right? Now, so 
When you know you are called, so I want you to get clear on your calling. What are you called to do? When you have that very, very clear in your heart, then it will build such confidence and such strength within you to launch out and actually build your coaching business on a very, very strong foundation. I actually have a framework that I teach in my program called Discover Your Greatness. And it helps to really just, I wouldn't say, it it more helps you to kind of confirm what you've been called to. And it gives you that moment, right? That will really cause you to be like, yep, I'm firm, I'm strong. I know that this is what I've been called to do. So this is very, very important. And it's the, the, the C of our care framework. Okay. Now it doesn't end there because so step one, the knowing your calling with my framework, you can only need about a week to just get it clear. So most of you coming into coaching, you've already got an idea of what God is calling you into and you've got a general sense of what that looks like. But with my strategy, my system, it, you need a, a week max to be able to go through and just really get clear and just say, yep. Yeah, okay. Let's move on. Let's go to the next stage. Okay. So that's week one. So next is creating an irresistible offer. Yes, an offer that sells like hotcake. Now this is so important and I actually can't believe how many people disregard this part of the process because here's the deal. You can create the most funkiest sales funnel on this planet, right? Have the most followers on the planet, right? Millions and millions of followers, right? But if you have not got an offer that is interesting, irresistible, exciting, enticing, you will not sell a dime. And there are many people right now online that have many followers, but have no cash in the bank. So when you have a great offer, this allows you to have a small, humble number of followers like myself and still create a six figure business because the offer's a great offer, right? So you need to definitely have an offer that is packaged fantastically well. And I teach this in my five day challenge. So if you have never ever come to my Abundance Now five day challenge, then click the link in the description and join the next live one because I go through this with you. Now, what does it take to create an offer? It's not just about crafting the offer and then go go ahead and then go and sell it. No way. We don't only craft the offer, but we do what? We validate the offer. What does that mean? We actually make sure the market wants our offer, right? And so I do a lot of work helping my clients to make sure their offer is validated. And so you want to come on the challenge, you're going to share, you're going to see how I do it. And you're going to see and get, get some tips and some tricks on exactly how you can do that for yourself. So definitely come and join me if you haven't done that already. So that's number two. And both of those are connected to the calling, like knowing, not only knowing what you're called to do, but knowing who you are called to serve. That is a very big thing. So amongst your, in your calling, you need to know not only what you do, but also who it's for. You don't serve everybody. You serve everybody. You serve nobody. Let me tell you now, you must niche down as all the marketers, all of us marketers say, but niching down just, just simply means being specific really specific on exactly who it is that you are designed to sell that specific offer to. Hope that makes sense, okay? Step two should take you two weeks, all right? Now that's taking us to three weeks. Now, moving on to step three, this is where you craft your communication. You can call it your internal brand if you want, but it's your messaging, right? You craft and communicate that message. Why do you need to craft and communicate? Because messaging crafted in a secret place means nothing. You create content upon content upon content and nobody's seen it, it does nothing because you create content based on responses. And so what I really teach you is to go out there to the marketplace and get your message validated very, very early on. So you're communicating your messaging from the early stages. Now, this is the A part of the CARE framework, which A stands for aligned with Christ's values. And the alignment here are two main things. It's courage and love. Like the spirit, the, Jesus showed us a few things when he was walking the earth. He showed us that he was bold in how he walked the earth. He was bold in healing and, and delivering people. And he had, there was anointing of courage that we need to take upon ourselves to get our message out. Many of you listening to me that are new, maybe you're scared to put the camera on, maybe you've never done it before, but there is an anointing upon you, there is a spirit of the living God upon you that has given you boldness and I, t- and I teach you how to step into that boldness very early on so that you can get your message out there in love because here's the thing, you need to communicate because you have something of great value that you need to communicate to your people, your prospects 
about so they can get the transformation all right so we move in a spirit of love because that's what Jesus showed us but and that love is demonstrating that you care for people by actually going out there to start to communicate how you can help them so we do that very very early on and I have a whole framework on how to create content that truly converts in fact I recently did a video on how to create six figure content if you haven't watched that take it somewhere on the screen go and watch it and go and learn how to create six figure content it will help you tons okay so that period that whole system should take you at least three weeks okay so really kind of get into the flow craft the content start to now communicate it so you're now building some kind of connection with your potential prospects okay so that is step three so so far we've got to six weeks in we are already got our offer we've already communicating it very clearly because we've got this framework that I've taught you and now we're moving on to the next step which is step four step four is is your systems and setting up your systems behind the scene. This is like the quiet part. So as we're still communicating our messages out there and really focusing on messaging, we want to spend at least two weeks to set up your systems behind the scenes because you still need to be able to communicate, not just on social media, but behind the scenes on your email list. Emails are very, very important. And now we want to really craft together your sign up pages, your email automation. We have templates in this in our program that help our clients do this. And when you actually can take people off of a platform into your world, that is the beginning of really building a sustainable and very profitable business online. So we spent about two weeks doing that. So we're up to what, eight weeks right now. So let's move on to step five. Hey guys, quickly interrupting this episode just to let you know that the next Abundance Now Challenge is around the corner. Now, if you've never experienced it before and you are a coach, a consultant or a service provider, you want to be on this challenge. It will teach you how to attract dream clients in abundance and how I generate leads, qualified leads on autopilot and generate cash every single day in my business as a result of the systems I'll be teaching you. You'll also learn how to partner with God to attract abundance in your life and in your business and how you can stand out from the crowd in this market so you will be the sought after expert that you are hoping to become. It is a five day experience filled with expertise, biblical insights and community that's going to help you to thrive in your business. So if you haven't yet been there, you haven't yet come on board, Check it out on the link below. It is me.bookiecoa.com forward slash Abundance Now Challenge. If you're ready for the abundance, come and join. Now back to the video. Step five is all about relationship building, okay? It is our pre-launch stage, okay? And it is the R in our care, which is relationship-led approach. This is very important. And so now we've kind of gone out there to the to the world. We've spoken to the masses. We've, we've kind of got a feel for what is connecting with them. But now we want to build a real stronger connection by bringing them into our world through the system that we've set up and now start to engage with our people. Listen, people buy from who they know, they like, and who they trust. You can't expect to just show up on social media one day and sign a client because you just, you know, you have been called, right? It doesn't work like that. There is a process, there's a system, okay? There is a no like, trust process that has to be built. And so now when you're doing step three and four, we are actually getting people to know who we are, by actually communicating and actually just showing our faces up very consistently, very consistently online. But now we want them to like us and we're building trust through our relationship. And I'm very big on this through community. And for user community, we actually invite them to kind of opt into something of ours, whether it be a freebie of some nature, we bring them into our world in a deeper level. We hear from them. We talk back to them. We are doing this back and forth for a good period of time. I'll leave about three weeks at least to be actually be engaging and really building that interest. And I believe that marketing is exactly that. Marketing is actually building a desire for people to want to work with you. And so we're building a desire in those three weeks. And during that time, when that desire is being built, people are already kind of sold on you. So I teach I teach about sales messaging, copy that converts, because what you want to do is actually sell people before they get on the phone with you. And this is where 
all the magic happens at this stage. Like beforehand as well, when we're validating our offer, all the things, we're kind of having that communication back and forth. Those are the things that truly convert and build a desire in the right people. So we spend quite a bit of time, at least three weeks on this particular process. And then we move into the launch phase, which is our final step six, which is only just a week. So in this stage, we've actually created a really interesting event, an event that can really attract masses and masses of people, similar to my five-day event, right? I'm teaching you right here, okay? So come along to my five-day event and can see how it's done. Now, when you do come upon this five day, this event, it could, be, it could be five days, it could be three days, whatever you decide, but this event is there to implement the E part of the care framework, which is to help your people to experience huge transformation. It is an experience. Marketing should always be about an experience. You want to not just sell to people, you want them to really experience you and you want to serve them at the highest level so that you can transform their life whether they buy from you or not. At this stage, it's not really about them buying in, buying from you. It's about you really serving at the highest level because as default of you serving at the highest level, people will be attracted to you and want to work with you even more. So this week really stirs them up. And they're now like, they've they've experienced all the transformation with you. And they're now like, okay, actually, what else do you have? And people are more interested in finding out a little bit more about what you have to offer. So this E, do not ignore it, okay? It's a big, 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 big win. And I teach how you can do this without having a big, massive, you know, proper live, live launch event. But it's very, very effective doing it this way. Because when you have it, this way, you can repeat it, rinse and repeat, and actually start to predict how many clients that you can sign on a consistent basis using this methodology, all right? So we have taken you through these six, and this is the last week, which is our week 12, whereby now you would have definitely got people on the phones where you can actually close them. And actually, I do teach that in my program. If you are interested in finding more about how I work with my clients, then come to the five-day experience, okay? The Abundance Now Challenge is nothing like you've ever been to before. It is something that I have really been led by God to give to the world, really, that will help you to be able to understand God's heart for you for abundance and how to operate it at the level of you being a coach or a service provider online and really using your gifts and expertise to attract people who are designed for you and not just having the income to go with that, but the impact, right? It teaches you how to have great impact. I demonstrate how to impact lives in those five days and you can emulate what you see there. And many have even signed clients just from those five days, like literally. So I hope this has helped you and given you that excitement and stirred you up. I also have another gift for you, right? The gift I have for you is my free launch planner. This launch planner gives you in much more detail what I've shared with you right now and the detail, the step-by-step strategies on what you really need to actually launch in this way. And so feel free to grab that also as a gift from me inside the description, okay? So if you have not signed up, make sure you do so. And also if you haven't watched one of my videos, one of my clients who actually signed her first $2,000 client or $2,300 client on day one of the Abundance Now Challenge. And I'm going to pop the video up there because she not only did that, but she ended the month with $12,300 pocketed on the first 30 days of being in my network. So all of this to say that the system just works if you work it. So I want to invite you to come along, enjoy. And even if you don't come along, I want you to launch. So let me know in the comments, When are you going to launch your business? If you're new, if you're on the sidelines, give me the date and say, listen, I'm going to launch on this date and you have committed to do it so that not only you can be blessed, but the people that you have been called to serve can be blessed. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode and I will see you in the next one. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.